In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel. Conditional formatting is a great visual method to quickly find trends in your data. And in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways how you can apply this in Excel. So let's jump into Excel and I'll show you the data set. So this data set is Star Wars themed. We have different characters down here in the different rows. Um, and then we have different columns for some of the different characteristics of those characters. In this case, we've got age, lightsaber color, midichlorian count, training hours, and battles thought. Some of the data um, is actually nu numerical and other data such as the lightsaber color is actually text. And I'll show you how you can apply conditional formatting to each of these in five different examples. And the first one I'm going to start with is data bars. Now, currently the age values here, obviously these are just numbers. And what would be great is if we could show these numbers alongside a bar, such as a loading bar. And obviously those that are higher the number, they have the larger bar. And those that are the lower number, there is a smaller bar. So this is a nice little visualization to, to view on a scale uh, of numbers. And how to apply this, you simply highlight your data, in this case, the age column. And in the ribbon at the top, you want to go to the home button and then over on conditional formatting. And then here you have a lot of different options and a lot of these we will explore in this video. But to start off with, we're going to use data bars. And this is for, you go down to this data bars uh, option here. And there are some preset data bars already loaded. And, and as you scroll your mouse over them, you will actually see them being applied onto your data. Now you'll see what I mentioned earlier in the sense that these data bars apply a color shading onto your cells. And you can see clearly that if I apply this light blue one, those with a lower age, for example, Luke Skywalker or Padme, their bars are really small. That's in comparison to what the largest number is in that data set. In this case, it's Yoda and their bar or their age being 900 in this case, the bar is obviously filled the full width of that cell. So it's a nice way just to apply a coloring onto the bars themselves. And you can kind of spot, obviously Yoda's the, the anomaly here, obviously being the oldest, but you can also see that Chewbacca is like a close second. And then there's Emperor Palpatine there that is a third. So that's the first way you can apply conditional formatting to your cells. And that is through data bars. And if I wanted to, I can change the color of these if I wanted by going back to conditional formatting and then going to manage rules. And you can see that the rule manager pops up and the data bars has been highlighted and it's showing you what the color is and what cells this is being applied to. So if I go to edit rule, this will then open up another options window where you can fine tune the appearance of those great, the gradients that have been applied in this case here. You know, you can change the fill, you can be a solid color if you wanted to, and obviously you can change the color of that fill, let's say orange, um, and, uh, you know, you can apply a border if you wanted to, and then I'll click OK, and then OK again, and now we have orange bars instead of a faded gradient bar. Let's now move on to something a little bit different now, and this is color coding based on text values. So if you look at the lightsaber color column I have here in the, the column C, you can see that it's all text-based here and that we've got values that range from green, red, nothing, green, blue, etc., etc. Now for this example, what I want to do is apply conditional formatting to highlight the color of the text that corresponds to that color. So I want the green uh, values to be in green uh, and the red ones to be in red, etc. So the way we go about doing this uh, within Excel is, again, you want to highlight your data, go to the conditional formatting at the top ribbon. You then have to go to new rule. And here there's a lot of things that you could do, but what we want to do in this instance is only format cells that contain something. And what we want to do is actually change the cell value drop down here to be a specific text in this case. And for this one, we want it to be containing. What I have to do here is do this for one color at a time. So I'm going to start off with green. So in this case, I want to say green. And then what I want to do is 
format what this cell contains if it contains the, um, the text green how does that appear so i then click on the format button and in this window i can actually fine tune what i want the cell to look like and i can change the font the border and the fill but for this instance i'm just going to change the font and i'm going to change the color um, to be a green and this is how it would appear and then i'll click ok and then OK again. So you see now that only those cells that contain the value green are colored green. And everything else is obviously just standard black text. Now, what you can then do is re highlight the cells and go to conditional formatting and click new rule again and repeat this process. But this time you do it for the next color that you're interested in. In this case, red. Again, we go to format, change the color, we'll pick a red, click OK, and OK again. And now, because if we go to the manage rules window, you can see that the cells that I have highlighted have two conditional formatting rules applied to them. The first being if they contain the word green, they're then colored green. And also, there's another rule that if that text is red, they will be colored red. I'll repeat this process off camera now for the, the rest of the cells. All right, so that's the conditional formatting being applied to all of those cells. Now they're recolored with their text being in that specific color, which is great. Let's move on to something a little bit different now, and that's how to use icon sets with conditional formatting. In this instance, in my column D, I have midichlorian counts. But because this is quite hard to visualize in the way that I've done it here, icon sets are great because they apply a symbol or an icon onto your data set, and that signifies what that number represents. And you can have this shown alongside the number, or you can hide the number and just show the icons. And I'll show you how to do that now. Again, with your data highlighted, you go to conditional formatting, and it's on a preset option here called icon sets. And you can select one of the options here. You know, these are arrows, or there's circles, um, or there's little flags if you wanted them. In this example, I think I might go for something like these bars here, which represent a little bit like your mobile signal. If you have no signal, there'll be no bars. And if there's maximum signal, there'll be full bars. So if I click this, you can then see that if you just look at the icons and ignore the numbers, you can see that these two here have very low values. In this case, it's midichlorian count compared to say this value here, which has full bars, you know, the maximum value. And I mentioned previously that you can have both the symbol or the icon being shown alongside the number value, or you can actually hide the, the numbers if you wanted to. And to do that, I'll re-highlight the cells and then I'll go to manage rules and then edit the rule. And then here you can just choose this option here, which says show icon only, and then click okay. And there you go. Now we have that icon sets being applied with our values being hidden. So it's a nice clean appearance for our data. Let's now move on to conditional formatting example number four, and that is how to apply color scales. Now, color scales are very similar to the first example I shown you, which are the data bars. But instead of being bars that are a part of the actual cell, the color scales will actually appear across the whole of the cell. And I'll show you what this looks like now. This one, we're going to do the training hours um, and we're going to highlight the data, go to conditional formatting. And again, using this example here, we're going to use color scales. And there's a lot of different preset um, color scales that you can apply. And if I hover my mouse, you can see them being previewed below. And I'll pick, say, this one. So you can see here that my data values are actually being shaded a specific color. And this is according to a gradient of blue values being the lowest to white being the middle values to red being the highest values. And this is a great conditional formatting to apply when you really want to quickly see what the largest number is in your column. And here you can see Yoda again coming out trumps, 8,000 for training hours, which is the highest value in the range of values I have highlighted. 
and that's compared to the lowest values, which would be in blue. Um, and that would be this one here, which is Boba Fett. And we can easily and quickly see that by just applying that color shading to our cells. And if you wanted to tweak the colors that are being used in your color shading, you could just re-highlight the cells, go to conditional formatting and manage the rule, edit the rule, and here you can actually choose the colors that are being used. And you can also change this from a three color scale to a two, two color scale if you wanted to. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the last example here, and this is number five. And this is how to apply the greater rule to your data. And the way this works is that you tell Excel, I want to highlight any cells that are greater than a certain value. And also you can do a lower than a certain value. And Excel will then only highlight those cells. And to do this, we're going to use the last column, which is battles fought. So I'm going to highlight these, go to conditional formatting. And for this one, I'm going to select the highlight cell rules option at the top. And there are many options to pick from here. As I mentioned, you can do a greater than value, a less than, be in between two values, equal to, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to select the top one, which is greater than. And let's say I'm only interested in those characters that fought in, say, over 50 battles. So I would change this number to 50. And you can change how you want the, the cells that are being highlighted how they appear. In this case, I'm going to say light red fill with dark red text. So it's quite prominent, but there are many options to choose from. And you can also use the bottom option to customize the format even further to suit your needs. And we're then going to click OK. And now only three cells are actually highlighted. And that means those three are above 50. And before I finish, now I've got a sheet full of different rules being applied to different cells for my conditional formatting. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can actually remove this. And to do this, you obviously just highlight the cells that you're interested in, go to conditional formatting, go to clear rules, and you can either clear the rules from the selected cells or from the entire sheet. In this case, I'll select the first option and you can then see my sheet has been reverted back to my starting point. So that is five different ways that you can apply conditional formatting in Excel. If you want to learn more about Excel, then please do check out my channel. And you can click on this video here if you want to see how to create a correlation matrix, which also uses conditional formatting. And I'll see you in the next one.